everyone welcome back to another video now i'm not actually planning on vlogging today i just wanted to introduce this video that you are about to see because the chances are for the rest of this video i am not gonna look like this so i'm filming this intro before anything happens now you'll be able to guess from the title of this video what this vlog actually involves but the plan is for me to go and get my bridge pierce but i think what i'm gonna do with this video is i'm gonna film it over the space of a couple of days so today i'm introducing it the plan is tomorrow to go and get it done and then i might film the first like week or so afterwards and just kind of let you guys know what the first week of having the bridge piercing was like and how it was doing in its first few days of healing so if you're not aware a bridge piercing is one that goes through here and i did inquire before about whether a bridge piercing would be possible because it does depend on the like makeup of your face um so i did ask my local piercer who i've been pierced by before if they thought a bridge piercing would be possible for me and they said that they thought that it would be and that i have like quite like a fleshy part here i feel like my bridge piercing i've seen a couple pictures of them i feel like mine would be quite high up i have no idea what to expect with this piercing because even though i am someone who has like i have quite a lot of piercings um i feel like this one is going to be slightly different because it is a surface piercing i think it's classed as like a surface piercing this is the most nervous i've ever been for a piercing i don't know if it's because this piercing feels like different to all of my other ones or what like i, I just don't know what it is about this but i have wanted this piercing and have kind of looked at this piercing for such a long time so i am excited to get it done hopefully fingers crossed and yeah so the next time that i speak to you in this video will probably be either when i'm going to get it done or once i've had it done i'm pretty sure the piercing place where i live you can't film in there um so i can't even like get my friend to do some sneaky clips or anything because it's like one person at a time and for the rest of the vlog i probably won't look all that human because um i will probably still like wear makeup and stuff i won't be wearing like foundation and things for like probably like the first week just to let it settle in and things that's what i did when i got my lip pierced my nose i think i'm gonna make this vlog for my vlog channel and then on my queen gem channel maybe like once i've had the piercing for a little while i think i'll make like a video that's like more of like a sit down chatty q a type of video where i can like potentially answer some questions that people have and i can just tell you about the experience as a whole in more of like a formal way so i think that's the plan that i'm gonna go with i will keep you updated on the bridge piercing journey <laughs> i'm not really sure what this angle or lighting is gonna be like but um i was actually kind of nervous kind of worried um about getting this piercing done today um, I was really worried about like getting it done and not liking it or getting it done and it not being what I wanted it to be. Glad that I got it done. It did not feel how I was expecting it to. Like even now it doesn't feel like I expect it to. And something I was talking to my friend about. Looking at it from the side it has more room than I thought it would. Like when i was imagining it myself i thought it would be further forward and it's actually further back than i thought it still has a little bit of the pen on that they use um to kind of mark it out but i don't want to like really scrub at it or anything a bit of information that i think people will want to know or will ask um pain rating out of 10 10 being the most painful maybe like a three a three or a four it really was not what i was expecting it to be the only thing happened with it that like i didn't think about because i didn't know that this would like be a thing is she went in from this side and she pushed it in the like the uh, piercing needle thing and i was like oh that was like really easy didn't even feel that like obviously i could tell she was doing something but it wasn't like a pain didn't even feel that 
it wasn't all the way through. It had to come back out the other side. It wasn't painful. I could just feel the pressure of her like pushing it through. Information wise, this is a swelling bar, so it's um slightly longer as you can see. And um this is gonna be in for the next couple of weeks. Um, just so it's got its healing time and then I'm gonna get it changed to a bar where it would sit more fitted to my nose. I'll show you further down because obviously I don't want to touch near where it is. It would sit sort of on my nose and you wouldn't see the actual bar bit, you would just see the two like ball bits on the end. I mean like she's got it like pretty straight. I've seen a lot of people have them where they're a little bit wonky, which is like, you know, each their own. Um, I've got a hair appointment on Thursday. It's currently Tuesday, so in two days' time. And typically, bruising comes out on the second day or after a couple of days. So, uh, I just woke up and I thought I would just come and show you guys that this is what the piercing looks like on the first morning. Day one of healing, Um, I literally just got up, so um, I haven't bathed it or anything yet give you a closer look and yeah I'm gonna go and bathe it now oh um it's not painful it's not sore doesn't feel like anything I, I if it wasn't for the fact that it's a longer bar and I can slightly see it when I look each side like when I look straight forward at you guys can't see it when I look sideways I can see it um but obviously it's because it's a longer bar at the moment if it wasn't for that I probably wouldn't even notice that it's there. It still has a bit of pen on it, but that will kind of wear down over time as I'm bathing it. I don't want to like scrub it or anything. I sort of knew this when I got my septum pierced. Oh no, it was when I got my lip pierced because I already had my septum pierced. So I already sort of knew this, but it's definitely confirmed the fact that I have a wonky face. However, the part of my face that's wonky is my septum my lip and the bridge piercing are in line with each other and then my septum is like off to one side you probably wouldn't have noticed that if i hadn't pointed it out but now you're gonna notice it all the time i just woke up i'm about to bathe my piercing but i just thought i would show you that this is what it looks like on day two so i haven't bathed it yet haven't touched it to me it doesn't look like it's doing too bad um i've seen a lot of people who get bridge piercings and then they're like really bruised that doesn't seem to be happening for me at least not right now um i know it usually takes a couple of days for bruising to come on and i'm on day two so i don't know would it have shown by now maybe i don't know um the only thing that i can see there it looks a little bit red and i don't know if it's gonna get a bump on it if it does get a bump on it as awful as that is gonna look um i'm not worried about it having a bump on it because she told me typically when they're healing they do get bumps on them i don't know the exact like reason behind it i don't know if it's linked to something she was telling me about um when you're bathing it and stuff be careful about like how wet it gets because they can retain moisture with it being a surface piercing um i'm gonna bathe it now and then i'm gonna get ready because i've actually got a hairdresser's appointment today so for the next couple of clips in this video i might look different i'm not doing anything drastic with my hair i'm keeping it blonde but so today is actually day four of healing um the piercing so i look like i have a bob i don't have a bob my hair's tied up i've had some layers cut into it so just ignore that but um yeah today is day four of healing the piercing and i've decided from now i'm not gonna give updates like every single day i feel like it'll get start to get repetitive coming a bit closer so you can look I haven't bathed it yet this morning i'm about to bathe it i tried to do these updates before i bathe it so that you can see what it looks like before i've like touched it or anything in terms of like how it feels and stuff it feels absolutely fine like can't feel it it's not sore it doesn't hurt i've got no bruising and um there's no significant um marks on it or anything it does look a little bit red in places but it's looked like that since 
it was pierced and she did tell me it can get like bumps on it and stuff so i think that's just it healing not worried about it the only thing that i have thought which is not a problem because again she told me that this could happen and probably would happen when i've been looking at it in the mirror or anything but when i've looked back on footage from when from the day that i got it pierced i think it might be a little bit swollen because you can't really see all that much of the bar and when i first got it done you could see a significant amount of the bar which i'm not worried about that can happen like in the tiktok i did on the day that i got it done so I think it has swollen like ever so slightly. It's not painful, it's got a swelling bar in it, it has that room to do that. Now I'm gonna go and bathe it. I am genuinely surprised that I'm not bruised because most kind of healing processes that I've seen, people are really bruised. I think today might be the final day of this particular video and vlog. It is a little bit red. I haven't actually properly looked in the mirror myself yet. More so on this side than this side, but both sides are a little bit red. And my forehead is very dry. Can't feel anything. Feels absolutely fine. Um, and as like a wrap up of this first week, it's been quite easy. She did say that they can get bumps on them. If you can hear that noise, the dog is laid on the bedroom floor. But in terms of for the first week of healing, that's the main thing that i've noticed about it over this past week i've been very careful not to touch it not to mess with it more than i needed to i've literally just bid it on the morning bid it on an evening and left it the rest of the day like not touched it but i'm gonna end this video here um and i'm gonna go and get in the shower i'm gonna bathe the piercing we'll be making the other video when the time comes to it so be sure to keep an eye out for that if you do have any questions then let me know in the comments down below the other video that i'm making i am also planning to get questions for as well so i might use some of those questions in that video when i come to um make it but i will also reply to you in the comments down below that video is not going to be out for a while so i will give you guys a response now if you have any questions in the comments down below but i might also use your comments as like inspiration for some things to talk about in the other video thank you so much for watching this video i really hope that you liked it also if you could hear a dog in the background movie <laughs> this is who you could hear i shall see you again in my next video bye guys